Just when you thought it would never happen. Oh, it's happening, and it's happening today. Today I'm gonna take you on a guided tour on how to install the CR Touch onto your printer. Where can you procure your own CR Touch for your Ender printer? Funny you should ask, because I was ready for it. You can get it from Amazon. I will post the link in the description of this video, and you can get your very own. You may be asking yourself, why do I need an automatic bed leveler? To which I'll ask you, why does anybody need anything? Why do you need a car to get to work? Why do you need a fork to eat spaghetti? Why do you need a spoon to ladle huge portions of peanut butter directly into your mouth from the jar? Well, the short answer is because it makes it easier and more accurate. You have less chance of failure. The purpose of an auto bed leveler is to automatically compensate for any discrepancies in the levelness of your bed. The CR Touch will auto-correct the G-code of the Z-axis to automatically adjust the height of the hot end in relation to the build plate. So without wasting any more of your time, let's crack this open and get to work. We're gonna start by looking at what comes in the box of the CR Touch. Not only does Creality have this kind of cool superhero looking dude that is probably their mascot, I guess, but they also package things pretty nice. I feel like they're all about first impressions. The attention to detail on the packaging alone at least makes me feel like if the quality of the packaging is this good, then the product must be just as good. At least that's been my experience with Creality so far. I upgraded to the Sprite Direct Drive hot end on this Ender printer a few months back, and the packaging was equally as nice and thoughtful. Not like most of the stuff you buy out of China that comes in a bag and very little anything actually looks like a lot of stuff that comes in the box so far is a lot of brackets and that's basically if you have another printer you want to use this on versus using it on the ender they're gonna give you a few styles of brackets to help mount your CR touch to your hot end of course you get the CR touch and you also get this ribbon cable that goes from the hot end to the motherboard of the printer you get a few new hot end a couple screws to mount the CR touch to your hot end and of course you get some zip ties Go ahead and get your Death Trooper skull printout ready. We're going to use this for organizing our components. If you're still waiting for yours to print, pause the video and continue after printing's completed. Okay, getting access to the motherboard, tip the ender up on its edge, and let's get out our Allen wrenches. You're going to need to get the pink Allen wrench. Everybody knows and has one of these, I'm sure. So go ahead and take off the three screws that are holding the plate cover over top of the motherboard. Let's get those off. Let's try not to slip off too many times. Okay, third time. Third, fourth time is a charm. Let's let's not look too stupid here. Okay, we're getting it off, and the last screw comes off pretty easily. Now, what you're gonna look for is this ribbon cable connector. This is the wire that goes to the CR touch. So, lower right hand corner of the motherboard, easy to find. Up here at the top is the Z stop connector. We're gonna need to disconnect this for the CR touch. So let's go ahead and take off the screws that hold this plate in place. Get a couple of these guys out here. There's two on the side, or well, this will be the front. There's two on the front, take those out. And there's one more on the top that's holding it in. You get your pink Allen wrench back out again, the one everybody has. And we take out this screw, comes right out, perfect, awesome. Now we have access to the Z stop Right here, this needs to come off. We gotta take this connector off. This is off the side of your ender. Take it off, looks like this. Remove the ribbon cable. The ribbon cable plugs into here. Take that ribbon cable right out. You don't need a Z-stop anymore. You have a CR touch. Put it all back together once you get that off. And ribbon cables put back in. We're making some good progress here, guys. All right, now, the cable on the bottom Go ahead and put the plate back over top of that. Let's try not to have too much of a problem with this. It goes on pretty good. We got our pink Allen wrench again. You know, when it comes to 3D printing, the pink Allen wrench is kind of like a 10 millimeter socket. It just, you need a lot of them. Go to your hardware store and get about 20 of them. All right, let's tip this thing back up. We're gonna go ahead and take off the hot end because we need to put the CR touch on there. And look at this, I've got my green Allen wrench now. While we're on the subject, where do you get your pink Allen wrenches from, or green ones for that matter? Or is there a different color Allen wrench that you prefer? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, hot end is off, now we're gonna go ahead and put on the CR Touch. Now, as I mentioned before, I don't need any extra brackets. This thing mounts right up to the Sprite hot end by Creality. So we'll just put that on there, and guess who's making an encore appearance? The pink Allen wrench, yay! 
All right, we get this all tightened down and set it to the side. Now we are going to zip tie the ribbon cable up the existing ribbon cable. There's a couple ways to do this. You can either do it this way or run it inside the ribbon cable sleeve. I am not doing that because that is quite a pain. This way works just as well for me. And now we just grab our hot end and plug in the connector and then reinstall the hot end on the printer. Green Allen wrench, four screws, easy peasy. While we've got a second here, let me ask you, what other upgrades would you want to see for the Ender printer? There's a lot out there, so let me know in the comments, and maybe a future episode will contain that upgrade. We'll put the ribbon cable back into the hot end, coming down to the wire, almost finished. We're gonna zip tie the last little couple connectors here. You wanna keep it kind of loose, because this part right here does have some flex in it when the printer's going back and forth. So don't be over tightening this, unless of course you want electrical shorts potentially in the line later on, which I'm sure you don't. Look at that, everything works great. And here we go. Thanks for watching the how to install your CR Touch on the Ender printer.